subscribe our channel press the bell icon for latest videos hi friends here in this video we are going to see what is meant by hogging bending moment so let's get started First, I'll draw the diagram and then explain it step by step. Here, there is a cantilever beam which is fixed at one end, free at the other end, subjected to a point load at the free end under the action of this load the beam is going to bend and it will bend in this way so such kind of bending action is called as the hogging bending moment i'll draw the diagram separately as well Now, when there is hogging bending moment, as can be seen over here, when the load acts, the beam bends in such a fashion which is denoted here. There is this neutral axis whose length remains constant even after bending, denoted by Na, also called as the neutral layer. Now, the layers below are under compression, whereas onto the top, they are under tension so from the neutral axis up to the top the layers would be denoted by yt and below the neutral axis would be denoted by yc and since the bending is in this way it can be imagined that here the moments are acting along these directions because of that there is the hogging bending moment and the convention for the hogging bending moment is when we take the section onto the beam, towards the left of the section there is an anti-clockwise moment and onto the right there is a clockwise moment. Hogging bending moment are treated as negative. These are the sign conventions. Then after this, I will draw the stress distribution diagram considering the rectangular cross section for hogging bending moment. Here there is a rectangular cross section having width B and depth D because of the hogging bending moment as we see from the neutral axis up to the top the layers are in tension so denoted by Y suffix T and from the neutral axis to the bottom subjected to compression so denoted by Y suffix C and so the bending stress distribution diagram is In this way, like here we have tensile stress at the top and compressive stress at the bottom. So the nature or the signs should be opposite. Like tensile stress is going towards left, denoted as sigma t at the top, it is maximum because y value is maximum. At the center, the stress is zero. Then at the bottom, since the distance is yc, so the stress is sigma c, which is again the maximum compressive stress. As we see in this diagram, the moment we go on decreasing, increasing the distance y from the neutral axis, the stress value increases and reaches the maximum value at the top and at the bottom. So this is. So this is the stress distribution diagram for hogging bending moment. Hogging bending moment mostly takes place in case of cantilever beam but sometimes it may even be there in case of a simply supported or an overhanging beam 
depending upon the kind of loading and the types of supports. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you'll can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.